Hi, this is Evan from Race Tech Electric. Uh, I'm going to show you how to replace a uh, Honda CB dual overhead cam uh, charging rotor. Um, so this particular bike is a CB 900, um, 81 or 82, not sure. Um, so anyways, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to swap one out. So the uh, rotor is under the um, generator cover on the right side of the motor. Um, it's held on with three 8 millimeter bolts. So it's a dry cover, so you don't need to drain the oil or anything. So we're going to go ahead and start by removing those. Um, I've already loosened these, so I'm going to pull the cover off. Um, I'll show you where the stator and the brushes are mounted. Uh, we're not going to be changing those on this bike, but I will uh, show you how to get the rotor off. Okay, so I've got my cover off. Um, here is the cover. You have the stator mounted around the outside ring. It's held on by three Phillips head bolts. Um, so that's all you need to do to remove the stator is undo those guys and you can pop it out of the cover. Uh, you also have your brushes in the brush holder down here. It's kind of hard to see with the light. Um, I believe that's held on with just two 10 millimeter bolts. So you can uh, pop that cover off and replace the brushes easily if you need to. The rotors right here sits inside the stator on the end of the crankshaft. Um, you have a 17 millimeter bolt that holds the rotor on. Um, <clears throat> you can use, uh, it's easiest to do it with an impact gun uh, to just blast that off and you can remove the bolt. Once that's out, you can pop it off. You will need a rotor puller um, on these bikes to get it off, which is really just a bolt that presses against the crankshaft. Um, once you have the bolt off, you can screw the puller in and you just thread it in until it's tight and it bottoms out on the crankshaft. Then you just use your impact gun. The bolts that are the pullers that we sell at Racetech are a 19 millimeter head. So you can just put that on there and uh, tighten it. It'll push against the crankshaft and pop the rotor off. So that's really all there is to getting it off. I'm going to go ahead and take my new rotor. Slide it onto the crankshaft, just press it on until it's uh, all the way seated. And then thread in the bolt. And you want to thread it in until it's snug against the rotor and tighten it with your impact gun. And that will pull the rotor onto the crankshaft. If you've already done your work on the cover, if you are, or if you're not replacing anything, then you just go ahead and line it back up, slide it over, and uh, put your bolts back in. That's all there is to it. Okay, so I've got my cover back on and all the bolts tight. And that's it. Now you're ready to fire it up and make sure you're still charging.